Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with the King of Horror Project Pan update. This is being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies, whom I will link down below, and it was created by uh, Stephanie at Foo Pans, who I will also link down below. I updated this two months ago, which is about on average for me at this point. But uh, I do have two empties, and they were two empties that I have been working on for ages. But for the stand, a dark or black item for Randall Flag, I finally finished the Tree Hut uh, 24 hour intense hydrating shea body butter in Moroccan rose. I am so thrilled. I don't have a weight written on my stuff here, so I don't know. But it is finished. It is out of my life. I am thrilled. And the other one that I am very happy to be done with, mostly just because I've been working on it for so long, but this was a a product that I got on a lot better with, but for the Green Mile, a green item, I chose the Yes To Watermelon Super Fresh Jelly Mask. This was just like an overnight sleeping mask type product. Uh, last time I was down to here and I did manage to finish that up, which yay. Because as you can see from these marks, I have been working on this for quite a while. This in particular was in my Fifty Shades of Green project pan, which ended last April. <laughs> and I have been struggling with it ever since. It just takes so little to use that I just had it forever. So I do have two things that I'm rolling in at the end, but first I will go over everything that I have still working on. If you're wondering what this orange lump over here is, that is my cat Europa. She has loafed herself up and I think she is asleep. So yeah, I'm just gonna just in case you were curious, this is like what she, like her back is sticking up is what's actually you can see right now. Anyways, uh, for Gerald's game, product used on your hands, uh, I have the this nail oil pen. I don't know who it's by. I got this a long time ago as part of a giveaway and I've completely forgotten anything about it. But here are my marks. I completely forgot to use this. I think I used it like twice last time <laughs> since the last update. So. I really need to use that. I mean, my nails are bare right now because I never remember to paint them. So I really should, you know, get on with it. Next for Firestarter, item on fire right now because at the time, not this color was sold out at Sephora, but these sell out fairly regularly. This is the Hourglass. I never remember the name of these. It's the uh, refillable lipsticks, the Ultra Slims or something like that. I don't know. I will insert my paper progress over here. It is actually these measurements that I also have from Paranormal Pantivity because I rolled it straight from that project to this one. So there was no point I felt at the time in making a new progress thing. But I have so little left, but this is so pigmented that you just don't need a lot. I am wearing it today. It's in the shade I Am. I'll do a swatch while I'm at it, because why not? It's a very pretty color. I got this in a FabFit Fun box and I wanted to use it like right away because A, I was really excited to get it. And B, I know that these tend to go off a little quicker. I've known of other people that have complained that they start to smell. Mine still smells fine after using it for over a year at this point. But it's always nice to get a full size lipstick out used up as well. Next is uh, Rage, an item used in high school, and I really liked blue eyeshadow in high school, although this was not out at the time. It's the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Blue Jeans. I wanted to use it 10 times. Uh, so far I have four, and I think I've used it either two or three times since the last update. I forgot to separate my marks, <laughs> so I don't know how many times I've used it. Also the Hourglass, I've used, it looks like eight times total, which I know that's wrong. <laughs> because I know I've used it on my cheeks a couple of times too. Like I'm actually wearing it today on my cheeks and my lips. And I reapplied one, so that would be another mark right there, but whatever. Uh, six more uses to go on this. And finally, before I get into my new products, I have Duma Key, something that brings out your artistic side, and palettes kind of do that in general. 
I chose the Nomad Berlin Underground and I wanted to use it no pan left behind style. I have used two shadows in here. Like this palette was just at the bottom of my radar for, I have two palettes that I'm trying to finish my goals on that are close. So like this was at the bottom of my radar. And hopefully when I finish those, I can focus more on this. But the two shadows that I have used are Kretzenberg, which I have used today because it is a topper shade actually but I topped it on top of this green eyeshadow that I'm wearing today. Like, you can barely see it, but it works really nicely on top of other shadows. And Helden right here, this gold shade. I mean, it's just like a yellowy gold shade. Nothing too extreme there. But I know at the time that I was kind of craving purchasing another palette by them that was even more like green and grungy. So I was just like, let me whip this out because it's definitely got some grungy colors in it. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't really messed with this one because I'm working on others. But hope, like I said, hopefully once the other two palettes that I'm working on get all of their love, I can focus more on this. And now for the two products that I'm rolling in. First is The Long Walk, which I'm not familiar with either of these works by Stephen King. So I should look them up. I think they're newer, but this, for, for The Long Walk, the prompt is something that takes a long time to finish. And boy, do body butters take me a long time to finish. I really want to finish this this year or throw it out at the end of the year. This is actually in my out the door 2024 project pan, but you could put those items in other project pans to really hopefully knock you into using them. This is the Body Shops of Body Butter and Frosted Berries. This was a Christmas scent several years ago. It still has the same smell. It's not like gone off or anything. This is completely full and untouched. I haven't even mixed highlighter in here yet to get uses on those. But uh, it weighs 219 grams even. So this one I wrote down the weight for. And the other product is, the other prompt is road work, an item you'd fight somebody for. And I definitely would fight for this because they are out of business and I don't want to lose the one I have without actually just using it up, you know. It is the Zany Laney Body Spray in Bright Light, which was based off of Gremlins because they can't handle bright lights. But uh, the scent is Cranberry, Snow, and Ginger. This was from a Christmas collection one year. And it still smells amazing. It's my last one of this scent, which makes me really sad. I mean, it's the last any of the scents that I have. But I'm also down to like my last couple of bottles from them this year. So after this year, I won't have any more to pan. I will have to use other things. So it hasn't even been used. It's all the way up to here. I mean, it might have been used once at one point because they usually they used to come a little fuller than that. But, you know, I've had this for a few years. It might have slightly evaporated. I don't know. Anyways, that is it. So for next time, I'm really trying to finish this. <laughs> like, there is so little left that it needs to go. And if I update in two months instead of one. I should have all of my uses on this by that point. I really want to make a note to start wearing more blue looks so that I can get this rolled out. As I have a blue eyeshadow in my pan that palette this year so it goes great with it. I just have to actually focus on the blue shade <laughs> a little more because I've been focusing on the green shade but I finished something that went along with that so hopefully I can pivot a little bit, at least long enough to get that shade all its uses. So, excuse my voice, by the way, I'm just getting over the flu. <laughs> That's where I've been for the past week. I have been not de literally deathly ill, but feeling like absolute crap and just haven't wanted to do anything. Today is the first day that I actually like got up, got dressed, put on makeup and did stuff. So, and I still sound like this. I'm making do. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!